<laughs> um, so my question is sort of, you talk about the super accelerated living. I discovered you um, probably about six or seven months ago, my good friend Heather, who I'm here with, um, to come see you. And uh, I've been just like super accelerated, like ever since I started, like it was really fast. Like I started listening to you on YouTube, Trifinity Academy, and I was like, holy shit, this is so quick. And things started happening. Money started flowing in, relationships started working. Um, so my question so, is... So what's my percentage? <laughs> You're taking 45 out of my PayPal, pal. So, let's, so we can start there. We can go to dinner later. I hear you have a cool mansion and a Tesla. What's my percentage on your relationship? I don't know. Like probably 85-ish. Oh, shit. Where is she? So that's... <laughs> Are you here? No, she's not. Um, that's, that's, that's the next acceleration. Thank you. Okay. So, my question to you is... I'll give you my card, so when it happens, just give I'll me I'll hit you up. Yeah, I'll text yeah. you. Hey, guess what? Um, so, my question to you is, the accelerated part, so when... How, how do I get to that next, that next density, that next level that you're always talking about? Like, I, I can see it, I can imagine it, but there's still those lack beliefs that I'm like, can this really happen? You know, I was raised, you know, in a really... What, what level specifically are you talking about? Because I always talk about a gradient. I always talk about a, an infinite expansion. Well, maybe that's my answer. So, yeah. Are, I, you, I, I, are I, you enjoying I, where you're at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Are you it's enjoying fair. your acceleration as it is? I am, yeah. Awesome. If you, every time you acknowledge, like there is this, and again, I'll quote one of my few actual teachers, um, Ra. Um, what he calls the doubling effect. So every time, we might call it practice or meditation, but basically the first time that you initiate a certain thought or intention or recognition, for example, in your case, that could be noticing that your life is accelerating and you're in it. That could be a recognition, right? I notice that my life is accelerating, things are flowing for me, and it feels good. That's a recognition. Every time you repeat that, you double the energetic effects of the first recognition. In other words, it calls into being more powerful energies to accommodate that which you just referred to. So every time you tell yourself a story, every time you tell yourself the same story or the similar vibratory story, that vibration will be amplified in you. That vibration will be doubled, redoubled, and redoubled, and redoubled with every other time. So it becomes exponentially more powerful every time you recognize it. That's why when you recognize the presence that's always already here, every time you do so, it becomes a little more vibrant. It becomes a little more palpable. It becomes a little more integrated. That's because the effects accumulate. It's not the same as it was the first moment of recognition. Every moment of recognition after that will become more powerful than the foregoing one. So just keep redoubling the effect by noticing how much you're already in the flow. Yeah. If you recognize how much you're already accelerating, right there and then you're accelerating even more. It's like noticing that your foot's on the paddle, the accelerator paddle, the mm. gas paddle, and by simply noticing it, your foot does this automatically. Oh. So every time you notice how good things already are, how fast you're already moving, things will become even better and you'll move in even faster. Mm. So just continue to recognize and enjoy the flow that you're already in. Every time you recognize it, you redouble the effect. Okay. So that, first of all, what else? So the, the lack beliefs part, you know, I had to let go of, of some really upbringing beliefs raised in a really Mormon household. Um, I recently let go of those, like pretty recently, about six months to a year. And that's when this acceleration started to take off. So, but a lot of the parallels, I think, that, that I'm sort of seeing between what I was taught or what I thought was so, so true in, in effect. Um, how do you get past, or at least in my case, it was letting go of that and then not, not, not think about it? Is, is it bad, I guess, to, 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 to really go back to those sort of ideas? Such as? Well, such as the idea of, of, of God or, or this, does I don't it, know. Does it inspire you when you think of it? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I was raised that way. And, and you know, I did these th and it, One thing I do know is it didn't bring me peace. It didn't, it didn't really bring me that clarity that I, that I feel when I, when I listen to 
to, to you or when I'm around people that, that are more of aware, that spiritual awareness, I guess you could say. So, so in a sense, no, it doesn't inspire me. Then there's no need to think about it, right? Would it be out of obligation or a false sense of respect? No, no, okay. no. It's just being true to. It's be, I think. I think it's finally being true to what I to what I've known all along. Like I've known I've been greater. I've been destined for something really amazing. Awesome. And I've, and I've felt that. And and yes. it's like finally I've hit this road. And it's like holy shit, this is amazing. Like let's go, let's do this. Mm. So and it, you know. So maybe that's just more of me like bearing my testimony to how cool you are. So there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thanks.